Zerach, Ecclesiasticus 4. My son, defraud not the poor of his living, and make not the needy eyes to wait long. Make not a hungry soul sorrowful, neither provoke a man in his distress. Add not more trouble to a heart that is vexed, and defer not to give to him that is in need. Rejoice not the supplication of the afflicted, neither turn away your face from a poor man. Turn not away your eye from the needy, and give him none occasion to curse you. For if he curse you in the bitterness of his soul, his prayer shall be heard of him that made him. Get yourself the love of the assembly, and bow your head to a great man. Let it not grieve you to bow down your ear to the poor, and give him a friendly answer with meekness. Deliver him that suffers wrong from the hand of the oppressor, and be not faint-hearted when you sit in judgment. Be as a father unto the fatherless, and instead of a man unto their mother. So shall you be as the son of El Elian, and he shall love you more than your mother does. Wisdom exalts her children, and lays hold of them that seek her. He that loves her, loves life. And they that seek to her early shall be filled with joy. He that holds her fast shall inherit glory. And wheresoever she enters, Yahuwah will bless. They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One. And them that love her, loves Rather, that love her, Yahuwah loves. Whoso gives ear unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attends unto her shall dwell securely. If a man commits himself unto her, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her Torah. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. But... If he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. Observe the opportunity and beware of evil and be not ashamed when it concerns your soul. For there is a shame that brings sin and there is a shame which is glory and grace. Accept no person against your soul and let not the reverence of any man cause you to fall. And refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good, and hide not your wisdom in her beauty. For by speech wisdom shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue. In no wise speak against the truth, but be abased, rather be abashed of the error of your ignorance. Be not ashamed to confess your sins, and force not the course of the river. Make not yourself an underling to a foolish man, neither accept the person of the mighty. Strive for the truth unto death and Yahuwah shall fight for you. Be not hasty in your tongue, and in your deeds slack and remiss. 
Be not as a lion in your house, nor frantic among your servants. Let not your hand be stretched out to receive, and shut when you should repay. <laughs>